the Super Sport World Championship, things haven't gone according to plan for world champion Frenchman Sebastian Charpentier at round one in Qatar, where he fell off while leading. His teammate Keenan Sokwoglu picked up the pieces and now leads the championship going into round two here in Australia. Last year's Philip Island winner Charpentier was determined to make amends after the first round, but both the hands-free Honda boys will be up against the island veteran, Australian favourite Kevin Curtin. Curtin's teammate and fellow Aussie, Brock Parks, would start from sixth on the second row, and he too was out for a home win. But the surprise package might come in the form of pole man and former world champion Fabien Fauré of France. Let's find out as we rejoin our commentators for the start. The Reds go up. They held for a long, long time. Away they go. Curtin gets away well. So does Sapoglu. And Sapoglu wheelies into the lead almost. But I think Curtin just may have it as they head down towards that first corner. Yeah, Keenan looked like he got a great drive with the front wheel just pouring in the air. But it's the Yamaha that makes the whole shot. Charpentier got gobbled up there from the front row. He's trying to make his way through now into fourth place. And Fabian Ferre, the pole oh! back fifth or sixth. Big off there at the sudden loop. Two bikes involved. Pirouetting in the air. And let's hope both those riders are OK. One Frenchman creating a lot of pressure at the front. That's Charpentier. But here comes Brock Parks. Oh, look at the speed of the Yamaha in a straight line. Not bad. That's, uh, again, they've improved that engine from last year. We couldn't do that last year. Yeah, now the interesting thing is the new 07 Honda is a really fantastic road bike. But it hasn't, hasn't got quite the horsepower. <laughs> Two very experienced racers sitting alongside me. And even they're out of their seats when they see this sort of racing. because he's not tying himself up in a knot. The other three are fighting their way back. Is in fact, the Alfa is going to be in that battle soon. Even out of Southern Loop, trying to get a good run down there to outbreak up the inside um, is difficult. He's looking around the outside. Oops. It's a problem. How's it going, Kevin? He's done it, you know. Heading towards no, Siberia. He hasn't, he hasn't <laughs> done it. Oh, he's going to look up the inside in the Siberia. Here comes Fauré on the inside, classic manoeuvre here at Phillip Island. Great stuff by the former world champion. Has he gone too wide? No, he holds it all together. And it is, he's going to do it in the same place. Up the inside of Kevin Curtin goes Fauré. Don't hold back, Warren. I can see him setting that up. The reason, I, I can see it happening back at home the corner. Maybe we shouldn't be too surprised from this level of competition from Yamaha here at Phillip Island. They did test here, and Curtin lapped in a 133.9. That was two and a half seconds quicker than Brock Parks' lap record of 2006. So there you go, goes Fabian. He's doing it every time. He's uh, almost signposting it, isn't it? They should be watching the big screen at the bottom of that hill to say, hey, if he comes down behind me, he's coming up the inside. As Brock Parks crosses the line yet again. What is the gap though this time? It's down to 1.2. Here comes Fabian Fauré. Bike number nine and here come the two Hondas. The hands-free Hondas doing their bit. Charpentier and Sofoglu. And it's going to be interesting to see who takes uh, winning rights there. Because Sofoglu, remember, is the championship leader. But the world champion is his teammate. And Charpentier is not managing to keep his Sofoglu now. It looks like his bike's protesting a lot. Fujiwara right behind Curtin now, so Curtin definitely has got a problem and... Oh yes, it's, it's called Fujiwara. <laughs> he did a 39 on the last lap, he was three seconds a lap slower than the leading oh, grade. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fujiwara is yeah. passing him. He, he's no doubt going to pass him sooner or later, but uh, I tell you what, there'll be one angry New Newcastrian, is that Newcastle he's from, up that way? <sighs> this wasn't the Love Island that Curtin was hoping for at all. Oh, he can't lean that thing over this. No, it looks like he's got absolutely no rear grip as he went through the southern loop. You can see the bike's moving around, and he doesn't know there's another one behind him. Yeah, look out, it's the man from Barcelona. He say yes. They cross the line, they come again. It could be, uh, you know, anything like right. Oh, look at this gap, here comes Foray! Into the lead for the first time! Fabio Foray of France! Sofoglu goes up the inside into second place significantly and that took our cameraman by surprise but at, uh, poor old Sofoglu 
had the lead at one point, but now he's going to settle for taking second place at least. Can't see him catching uh, Foray in time, but these are massive points for the young Turk. <laughs> this is going to be a deserved win. He's ridden supremely well. He didn't get carried away in the opening couple of laps. He's built throughout the race, and this has been the culmination of the weekend's hard work. Champion du Mans in 2002 and King of the Island in 2007. Fabian Foray takes the checkered flag. Despite a poor start, Foray fought his way back in style to claim Kawasaki's first win in four years, rounding off a brilliant weekend for the team. I mean, I couldn't expect to, to win this race, honestly. We, even if we did uh, some good practice and we make the pole, but uh, I expect a really hard race and I will be, I would happy to finish on the podium. A win is, is, is a dream and thanks to everybody, we, we make uh, things the best this weekend. Young Turk Keenan Sofwoglu continues to lead the championship, but it's early days yet as the Super Sport Championship now heads to Donington Park in the UK. Amazing Phillip Island circuit once again created some of the closest and most exciting racing anywhere in motorsport. And after two rounds, both the Superbike and Supersport Championships are living up to expectations that the 20th year of the championship could be very special indeed. And it was 20 years ago the series ran its first race in the UK at Donington Park. That's where we're headed next on April the 1st. You'd be a fool to miss it. Until then, from me, Clive McNeil, goodbye for now.